Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. My brother Levi or I would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2006 Road Trek 210 Popular with 65,977 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2006 Road Trek 210 Popular. As usual, we'll start in the front, work our way towards the back, and then come back towards the front. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan and overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976. We are proud to be a second-generation business today. My brother Levi and I are in charge of the main operations. Our brother-in-law Greg's in charge of the shop. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. Go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. Answer any questions you might have. Without any further ado, we'll get going on this unit. We've got about 73 inches headroom in this basin part and then 70 inches where it steps up in the front and the rear. Got nice drawers here. Sorry about that. Three nice big drawers. This counter slide out here comes out quite a ways. There's a little scratch in that. Another drawer there. That standard Road Trek style countertops on this. Single basin stainless sink. Two burner propane cooktop. Some storage below here. That's your water heater down on the very bottom. This is a wet, dry basin here. We've got a drain inside of this trench here. You can shower inside this one like the traditional Road Trek style in the aisle. We also have an enclosed wet bath here we'll check out in just a moment. I'm gonna stay in the kitchen here for now. Check out the overhead storage. Got an outlet up top. Got a little rack here that has been added. A couple blemishes on this little trim piece here. Got the nice aluminum backsplash shade here. This window does not open. We've got a convection microwave oven, so this actually heats up and can bake. Got some outlets up top, some TV connections, your manuals. We've got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power or your generator. DC, meaning your coach batteries or propane gas. Nice, good-sized refrigerator here. Spin back around towards the passenger side. Got a storage railing up here. This is your table leg for the rear table. Little storage pocket. Got a light switch. Actually, that's for the inverter. So inverter switch there. The inverter takes the uh, coach battery power and turns it back into AC. Got your generator start stop switch, 63 hours on that. It's an Onan 2800 generator, fresh service, fresh oil change, water heater on off, levels test for your propane, your water tanks, your holding tanks, water pump on off switch, coach battery. Also got a gauge here to uh, measure how much charge is in your coach batteries. Got your fuse panel here. I'm going to step into the bathroom now. So you got the fantastic fan up top that runs on the coach batteries that can be used as an exhaust fan for the bathroom. Um, also as an attic fan, if you open up the windows, you'll get a lot of good airflow inside of here. It's your shower head, nice mirror here. Nice easy step up into the bathroom area. There's also a drain back here. If you'd like to just shower in this room, Got a shower curtain here, exhaust fan. 
some storage below the sink. Come back into the rear part of the coach here. Check out this wardrobe closet. That's a power cord for an outlet there that you're seeing. Got a Cool Cat AC heat pump. The heat pump will work to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. The controls for the AC and heat pump in the rear are over here, as well as the propane furnace. Some sunscreens and other goodies there. TV remotes. So we've got a power sofa in this one, got two belts in the rear. So how this works is you can run the sofa down and sleep two people like so. You can also span the gap here using the table that's below this cushion and you can make up the big bed. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures so you can get uh, an idea what that looks like and get some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 75 inches long and 30 inches wide on the driver's side and just a little shorter at about 70 inches long on the passenger side. This is a very popular sleeping setup in a camper van as it allows you to easily swing your legs out at night and go to the bathroom without crawling over one another. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 70 to 75 inches front to back and 82 inches side to side. This bed is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people laying either direction in this bed if so desired. Here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the road trek. Which one of King Arthur's knights built the round table? Sir Comfrance. Got lots of outlets in the rear. Got one here, here over here we've got screened portions on the lower on the driver and passenger side these open on the lower portions got privacy curtains throughout in the rear the windows on the very back of the road trek do not open got speakers in the back that go to the front head unit so whatever you're listening to up front will play back here in the rear got noxious gas detector here and here a little storage bay here with some of your water connections and your water pump on the right. Those are labeled for ease of use. TV is built on a swivel mount. So you can swivel this out to face the front. Both front chairs swivel. This is gonna be the better seat because of the steering wheel and the cabinet here. Kind of make this one harder to get a comfortable position. But you can watch the TV from the front here. Got the switch that controls the power sofa in the rear. Cup holders on the wall. Again, the screened portions that open up are on the lower. Got your other speaker there. Got a TV antenna that you crank up here. You do not want to have this TV antenna up while you're driving. Got your propane furnace down here. You can swivel the front chair here and use the cushions here to kind of span this gap and this will make a lounge bed. This is good for kids or shorter adults. I'm 6'3 and it's not the most comfortable sleeping experience for someone like myself. Get your porch light switch, little storage compartment here. Again, we have a seat belt here. So we've got five total seat belts in this road trek. Got the privacy curtain here. This window does open, but does not have a screen. Got a privacy curtain that you can pull all the way around the front for privacy because it's a privacy curtain. <laughs> Table leg, not sure if I mentioned that before. All in all, a really, really nice road trek here. Minimal blemishes. There's a couple screw holes. I think I forgot to touch on back there on the cabinet. Not stuff that you really notice or sticks out very much at all. We've got a little bit of dirtiness on the carpet here. Have the guys hit that again. Maybe that'll come out a little better. Get your fire extinguisher down there. Never mentioned that. However, all in all, a really, really nice unit. I'm gonna call it somewhere between a nine and a nine and a half. Go ahead and say 9.25. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt cruise, CD player. Nice clean upholstery. Glove compartment there. 
Always tough to say for sure, as some people have super noses, but I'm not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of stains or burn marks on the seats or anything like that. The cigarette lighter is unused, which is always a good sign as well. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2006 Road Trek 210 Popular. This RV measures 21 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. It has four brand new tires. This Road Trek is built on a Chevy 3500 Express Van chassis with 65,977 miles. Got a nice looking exterior on this one. A couple small blemishes here and there on the stripes, like so. But overall, a very, very sharp looking unit. Got your furnace exhaust, porch light. We've got two Trojan T105 batteries. These are very nice batteries. Got actual alloy rims. Storage drawer here. These are clevises for the awning legs. The legs of the awning are stored inside the awning itself. Around the back of the unit, we've got the Cool Cat AC heat pump up top here. Got your awning crank and center rafter. This is the cover for the propane tank. This is the uh, pin for the spare tire mount. Got this basement storage down here, which is covered with these. Got a propane tank here package. We've got the fill for the winter tank. So this is a tank that's inside of the road trek that's smaller than the other tank, but that's to be used in colder weather conditions. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Got your shore power coming in here, outside shower, cable TV, city water. Everything can be run out this little porthole here. Surge protector and some other accessories there. Got the back of the refrigerator, back of the water heater. Nice storage compartment here. We've got a macerator pump. The hose is inside of this. You open the black first and then the gray. The macerator pump is turned on via this button here. And this is the fill for the larger main freshwater tank. Let's take another quick look at the outside of this one here. See closer up on the stripes. Overall, very nice, but small blemishes like that here and there. But all in all, this is a very, very good looking road trek.